This content is part of a Udemy course entitled Water Treatment for Beginners. You will learn how to fully design a water treatment system for small to medium scale projects. You will find an 80% promo discount link in the description box. Hello everyone. In this video, we will go through the cheapest options in order to remove nitrates from your household's water. We will start by the cheapest uh, way actually, which is using a simple cartridge filter. So as you can uh, see here, we have a, a housing, a small housing uh, that you can connect to your tab. And we have this cartridge filter. Now note that nitrates are not suspended. So uh, what you are seeing here is not a typical filter. It has a, a certain type of media. To exchange this nitrate with another element, which is the NaCl4, a more technical information about nitrates removal, you can check another a posted video about uh, how to remove nitrates from well water. This is an uh, easy technique, easy to install system. And now you have to note that uh, this is not a perfect system. Of course, it will reduce nitrates, but this is not actually the best method for nitrates removal. Now, one of the major uh, cons of this technique is that you have to manually regenerate uh, this media. So I have already mentioned that we have some ion exchange with NaCl. So you have to soak this uh, media actually with a brine solution. So with a, a salt solution every 20 to uh, 30 days to regenerate the ability uh, of this resin to remove nitrates. And also this needs to be replaced after four regenerations. So you have to expect um, actually lots of uh, replacement. Now the starting price of this whole system, so the housing and uh, the the cartridge is uh, around 100 USD and we are not talking here about uh, the installation fees. So only the price of uh, the material and you have to expect a yearly maintenance. So we are talking ab about uh, the replacement of this uh, filter. Uh, depending on um, the usage uh, of this filter. So you can expect a yearly maintenance fees of 100 to 150 USDs. Now, another a better solution for nitrates removal is the under sink reverse osmosis. So as its name suggests, we are talking here about a, a small system that you can place under your sink and uh, it will provide a, a localized solution uh, for nitrates removal. This is, of course, more effective than the solution that we have uh, already seen, the cartridge filter that we have already seen. But it will treat the water of uh, uh, this uh, particular sink, so not your whole uh, house uh, water. Uh, this is a localized solution. So this method actually is a very effective method. It is a, a, a reliable method for nitrates removal, uh, but also it has uh, uh, pros and uh, cons. One of the cons is that water is partly uh, rejected. So we have some of uh, our water uh, that will be rejected as part of this uh, process. So there is actually a, a part, a, a small uh, a part of our water that will be rejected. The treatment capacity is typically 75 to 100 gallons per day. The starting price of this system is uh, around 200 USD. Of course, it depends on how many stages we have. So here we are seeing a five stages reverse osmosis. It can uh, go uh, up to six and seven stages. 
and we have uh, a yearly maintenance of $50. So what actually needs to be uh, replaced uh, are these cartridge filters. These uh, need to be replaced every four to six months. We have also here a reverse osmosis membrane uh, and uh, another uh, inline uh, carbon filter. These might uh, need uh, to be replaced every one to two years. We will go through this system uh, in details a little bit so you can understand what are the components of an under sink reverse osmosis. First of all, we have a, a polypropylene uh, sediment filter. So this uh, filter, which will actually remove the suspended solids. We are talking here about uh, uh, some uh, dirt, some uh, sand particles, etc. So we are uh, in a, a pre-treatment uh, stage. Then we have an uh, activated carbon uh, filter. And this filter will be able to remove chlorine, uh, some organic uh, chemicals, also taste other color. Also, we have here another type of carbon filter, which is a, a coconut carbon filter, which will also remove the same type of uh, pollutants. So uh, we are done here with the pretreatment. We have already removed uh, the suspended solids and some organic materials in addition to the other color and taste. Now we have the fourth uh, stage, which is the reverse osmosis membrane. And, and this is the core of the treatment. Actually, this is where our uh, nitrates will be removed. And also we will be able to remove 99% uh, of the uh, total dissolved solids, so the TDS, and also other contaminants, bacteria, viruses, etc. Finally, we have a, a fifth uh, stage, which is the post inline nutshell uh, carbon filtration. This is actually to uh, polish the taste of the water and remove any residue from the storage tank. So this is practically an overview of uh, the under sink reverse osmosis. Actually, this is a simple method and not really complex if you want to install it uh, by yourself. This is actually doable. Another option is the high flow reverse osmosis. So uh, we have here an option that can treat the water of uh, your whole house. So this is actually a bigger uh, system than the under sink reverse osmosis. So it consists usually of three big membranes. So these are the reverse osmosis membranes. So we have three in this case, uh, but the system requires pretreatment. So we need to install some uh, cartridge filters before uh, the system, uh, some sediment cartridge uh, filtration to remove the suspended soli solids. Otherwise, these membranes will uh, be clogged and uh, it will cost us a lot uh, to replace them. The treatment capacity can uh, go up to 1000 gallons per day. So this is actually a sufficient uh, capacity to treat the water of a whole house. The starting price of this system alone is 900 USDs. So as I have already said that uh, it is better to include a pre-treatment and even a post-treatment uh, with uh, some cartridge filtrations. And this is excluding the uh, uh, installation fees and also a yearly maintenance of 300 USDs. Uh, of course, these membranes must be uh, replaced uh, every one to two years. Finally, we have this ion exchange uh, system, which is practically the best option for nitrates uh, removal. Uh, this option consists of a, a pre-filter, which is a sediment filter. Then we have a multimedia uh, filtration. Uh, then the nitrates uh, uh, removal system, which is a vessel filled with a, a, a special uh, resin and the brine tank. And finally, a post cartridge filtration. So this system actually uh, can treat large quantities. We can go from one house up to treating the water of a, a whole building uh, consisting of many households. So 
Of course, this also requires a pretreatment. Here we have the uh, cartridge filtration and the multimedia uh, filter. And also it requires uh, experts for the design and uh, installation. The starting price of this system is 3000 US dollars. So uh, we are talking here about the full system. And this is excluding the installation fees. Now for the yearly maintenance, it is around 100 US dollars. So we are here taking uh, into account uh, the replacement of the cartridge filters, the pre and post uh, filters every four to six months. And also we have to fill this a tank with a brine uh, solution uh, but uh, this is actually excluding the operation costs uh, that includes uh, the uh, the operation of a pump so of course uh, such system uh, uh, they need a booster pump and uh, also uh, some back washing um, will take place uh, every now and then to clean the filters as you can see here we have uh, this uh, automatic valve that will uh, generate the uh, backwashing process so these were actually the cheapest options to remove nitrates from your household's water i hope you liked this video and see you again in some future lectures